Boom. Welcome back to another episode of Stoppage Time TV. We're live back in the flesh, live and direct, live and everything. You get me? You see me? Live from Portugal, live from the UK, live from wherever it is, man. Wherever the Champions League is, but dear, four days yeah. of madness, absolute madness. But before we go any further, make sure you're subscribed to all of the socials, man. Make sure your notifications are on. Make sure you're following the personals as well. Get involved in the conversation. A lot of some interesting hot takes that have been said on the, st- um, the Insta this week. So I might shout one of them out because they were saying that I was, I saw it and I thought, hmm, it's a, that's, a, that's a wild statement. But listen, without further ado, man, let's go into what we're here for, man. Champions League football, World Cup format, one wow. game, all winner takes all, you go to the next round. Four really, really good games this week. And we've ended up with a German and French, French couple up in the semis which no one really expected and that's because madness happened so where would you gentlemen like to start yeah bro listen we've ended up with the farmer league semi-final and yeah we'll go into it we'll go into it because we already said this whole farmer league stuff listen before we even go further let's 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 just put the let's just dead that now you can't call something a farmer league if you don't even watch your own league that's number one because people are calling stuff farmers league because they're watching highlights of of something and a goalkeeper makes a mistake. You don't even watch your whole team for the whole of their game. You don't even watch another <laughs> league. So don't call something don't call Senka Farmers League if you're not watching it. That that stuff pisses me off because you saw a Twitter clip. Oh yeah, that league's dead. Nope. Bro, a couple man nope. were forced into watching Bundesliga after COVID restart, bro. For the first and then they time. became experts and they were telling me that man, oh, yeah, Havertz is really good, you know. Uh, so what he wasn't good for the rest of the season, but he's farmers league, yeah. Listen, mm-hmm. I'm telling you, guys, if you ain't got BT subscriptions, Sky subscriptions, Ronaldo mm-hmm. Seven, you're not watching games. Stop making these families comments. But let's get into it. Where do you want to start? Barcelona game, City game. Brother, let's start City and Leon. All right, cool. Let's start right, with cool. some criminals. All right, cool. All right, do you know what? I, on that note, I think we need to have an award, and we're gonna we're gonna start this award now. But we're gonna bring it to to next season, and it's Criminal of the Week award. I, I like the, <laughs> I like I like the I like the the the, the phrasing of that because there's a lot of criminals Brother, that are not opp- apprehended. Some crooks out here. So, Fuad, as, as you know, as our, our lead constable, brother, who's the criminal listen, of the week this week? Brother, forget what you think there's one. There's two <laughs> big criminals coming out of this game, I'm telling you now, yeah? And that's Pep Guardiola and Raheem Sterling, whether people want to address it or not. But listen, Pep Guardiola now, for me personally, the way he's come into this game tactically, completely all wrong in my opinion. Mm-hmm. I think you've seen time and time again over the years, I've even said it on stoppage time, this man, when it comes to the Champions League, for some reason, always seems to overthink it, overanalyze it, it, and gets it wrong. We've seen that against what? Was it uh, Liverpool, where he lost at home? He's seen yeah. that against uh, Spurs last year. We've seen that against um, Monaco, was it? Like, time yeah. and time again, Pep Guardiola's been shown up. And even if we go back to his Bayern days, where Madrid and, um, what's his name? Barcelona absolutely bopped them. Atletico, like, absolutely outclassed time and time again. So, for me, the way he's set up, I mean, you dropped what? Both the Silvers, Mendy weren't starting at left back. You had Cancelo at left wing back. So yeah, it kind of leaves the them back. so narrow. And this five back at the back. Kind of attack, attacking team. Bro. And a it's, game, it's, and the winner takes to, all game. You're trying, to, you're trying to count off the formation of a team that's seventh in Liga. Like, Leon are not this attacking pop ball team. I don't know why you're playing five at the back or three centre backs. Like, it makes no sense. They're not even playing with a natural nine. Like, it, it, just, it just confused me. And what? During his time at City, now he's what spent seven hundred million, and he's still not got to a Champions League semi final. He's not. And people, wanna, and people were arguing with me earlier this League. season that this ain't going to be a stain on his legacy, brother. Mm. And now they're going to tell me in the summer he's going to need another three hundred million. That's a billion he's going to reach then, which is the total amount that PSG have spent the entire time the shakes have been there, brother. This man's a criminal. Listen. He must be brought to the courts, bro. And the other criminal I want we to address... Have, we have seen the evidence. Bro, we have seen the evidence. You cannot escape it. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I can't criminal lie to you. number two, step forward, Raheem Sterling. For years, Manim have been putting stain on Kane's name. And I'm looking at Manim in the room. They've been putting stain on Kane's Kane's name for saying... I'm talking about Kane. (laughs) Kane should have squared out the World Cup, they said. For years, they've been screaming this. And today, at the biggest stage, Champions League, you're on fire. You're the star man for your team. Show us what you're about, Raheem. 
equalize for your team and take him to extra time. And what does he do? He fucking bottles it and skies it like Nwanko Kanu for West Brom, brother. Do you remember that? Yeah. No, I Bro, think... You know what? To me, his, miss was, his miss is worse than your Let's just play that. Yeah, criminal. he was in the and I think you no, no, no. touched on it, Cam, in the group chat here where you said this could be a career-defining miss. Mm, this could yeah. be one of them ones that... Because he's had one of his best seasons. On. He's had one of his Bro. best seasons, but it's going to be remembered for that, guaranteed. It's one of them Those ones Those are my where... two criminals. Anyway. Yeah, I hope, I hope he don't... I hope he don't... Um, I hope he doesn't... Like, that's not a career-defining miss. It's a career-defining... It is a career-defining miss, but I hope it doesn't define his in it. I hope he continues to get past that and whatever. Yeah, I mean, like... But just echoing on what you said in terms of Listen, Pep Guardiola, like, he, in my opinion, he goes into these games and he wants to show everyone how tactically smart he is, how he wants people to, every, all eyes are on him. He wants it to be a thing where everyone's going to walk away and be like, the genius of Pep, the yeah. genius that he did this and did that. Listen, at the end of the day, yeah, when he was at Barcelona, you could do all of these confusing stuff you want you've the got players. some of the most yeah. elite people to ever play football do you know what I mean and yeah. even when you're doing it more time Pep Guardiola had his same 11 anyway he had the same 11 at that yeah. elite Barcelona team all this chopping and changing that he's doing with City it doesn't make sense as you said Leon are not some renowned they're not even like Leipzig bro they're not yeah. even like that for no. you to go and defend in the way that you did it was very very weird for me that was weird but then for me, it's just very interesting. In, in, in fixtures like this, he did it against Madrid as well. Doesn't he trust Kevin De Bruyne as a centre midfielder? Did he um, have a centre mid? Uh, oh, the why, is it, why is it in these games, he's in the biggest, the highest level, he doesn't want KDB playing as a centre midfielder? Hey. Wait, wait, wait. Because I was watching, I was watching our, yeah, and did you, that was a real centre midfielder. Hey. He's added another Good. 20 million to his feet. Good. When we spoke about it, people laughed. This was oh, like two they, years that, ago. That's a real centre midfield field performance. And I'm just going to read out a few stats because obviously everyone's going to talk I about... Have, him. I shouldn't have sent you those stats. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, no, you didn't send it to me. I got it from I'm Statman. No, no, but listen, as in before that you dropped in the group. That was I dropped it in there as well still. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, listen. 76, Kevin De Bruyne versus Leon, yeah? On the highest stage, yeah? Fucking 76 bad. touches. 76 touches, 59% pass accuracy, 25% long balls completed, 17.6% cross accuracy, 34 times he lost possession, three fouls conceded, two passes. He got a goal that Sterling put on a plate for him anyway, the, the criminal of the day. So it's very, very, very interesting. That's all I'm going to say. Kevin De Bruyne, where were you, bruv? Where oh, were you in the big the only eight? one. He scored. If I'm not mistaken, to equalize on a plate, so he, he, just he, like he you took were saying, moment. on a plate. Oh, on absolutely! Plate. And Sterling's one was on a plate, and you're one of the men who screamed, "Kane should have, uh, Kane should have squared it." But, but Kevin De Bruyne is one of the. But Kevin De Bruyne is called Sterling before listen, you come listen, for De Bruyne. Respond but Kevin De Bruyne, Sterling. let me speak. Let me see. But Kevin De Bruyne is being called. He's been talking about like, oh, he might win a Ballon d'Or this season, Player of the Year. This, this, this. It's very interesting. Highest level. Listen. They've compared KDB seasons to the prime Lampard's prime Yaya. The Carabao Cup must You're hold a lot of weight. Then. It must have hold the Carabao Cup. <laughs> it must hold You're a lot of weight. You're shameless. It must hold listen. a lot of weight. Now, now speak for Sterling. Now speak on Sterling. I just spoke about it. I said, listen, hey, listen. listen, career defining. Raheem Sterling should be finishing that. But we know Raheem Sterling, very, very weird when it comes to his finishing at times. And... He nah, for, I don't even know, need to say much. For me, we can't, we can't, we can't say for the really weird stuff. But what I would say on the Guardiola mm -hmm. thing is, again, I just want for, for, and it's something we've seen in all of the games. I don't understand what Guardiola was thinking. I don't understand what Simeone was thinking. We are in a position where, especially those two teams, right? This is probably the best format for you. There's less yeah. games. All you have to do is win the game. That is it. Win the game, and you're playing less opposition as well win the game you start doing some weird stuff like I um we touched on it before for us when we were talking like I understand with the Madrid game where it's two legs and you think you know what let's let's Why make sure they don't get yeah let's make sure they don't get an away goal and then we could do something else this, this is, is literally just go out there and win you this is like, cage football blow for, blow for blow we we said it like my 11 versus your 11 who's better and then you decide to do some weird stuff and this is what happens so now we have to assess the situation. Like, Fru has always said some stuff and people have been angry by it, but we have to assess the truth. In terms of Pellegrini and in terms of um, our, our guy, um, Pep, they've both achieved the same thing in the Champions League. 
if we and have to address the goal, eh? If we have to address what um, Man City are trying to do, they're trying to make sure that they can win the Champions League or quotation marks be better than PSG because that's where it is realistically. It's the big boy league now. PSG are getting into finals or are getting are, um, are progressing. They're not falling down at this level anymore. They've managed to overstep that hurdle. And it's like you were the and last it was team. A similar way, PSG. If you look at their game as well, they were down. Yeah, yeah. Guess what? Karen yeah. and their stars turned up. Yeah, yeah. But another There's... one I just want to touch on as well, performance-wise, Jesus today. Jesus uh, had a chance as well to 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 get a goal for them, and I don't know. Yeah. I've I've always questioned about whether he's going to be as well. You can say that, but Sterling missed his chance saying. as well. <laughs> I'm yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm yeah, just just and and yeah, I'm just saying back. as well. I'm, I'm just, just saying, saying as well, keep the same energy for your dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. like, listen, listen, all this talk, yeah, all this talk about, look, the one thing is, for me, Pep failed City today, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. They would have won the game if they started in their normal formation. So everything... Same, same only, that's why I mentioned it. But it's, 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 it's just hilarious when, when I, listen, I've said it many times, yeah, and I said it this week and we got released and then people are saying I'm talking rubbish. These teams are average, bro. These mm-hmm. teams average. Man City have been average all sing all year, but for some reason, people had some incline. Little, I got a sneaky feeling City are going to win the Champions League. I was like, where are you guys seeing this? They've got yeah. such a horrible defence. Where am I? Like, am I the only one that can't see that City are clearly not going to win the Champions so, League? No, and no, no. I, on that one, come so close. On that I one, mean, quickly. I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. They've got Laporte. They remember, what? remember, I told you, man. Laporte, Mister, he was the difference between blah blah blah. Mm. What's I don't see no difference, bro. <laughs> so no, but but, but Cam, no on, on that one, on that one, because we, when we spoke about favourites, the reason why I said I can see them favourites is this one. This format is their best route, bro. This would, this, if they had any chance this to win this tournament, chance. this was now. I don't, again, I'll go back to the point. I don't understand why Mr. Guardiola has decided at the key moment where things have been made easy for you, you why would you make life harder for yourself? I, f- I remember when Ribery, I think, was it Ribery that came out and said, oh, yeah, he, like, he overcomplicates um, football? football KDB is a real one. Hmm? KDB, KDB said KDB it after said the game. Today, yeah. We should have played, played how we normally play. This, this play. Listen, this is, as, as, you, as my dear friend will say, the proof is in the puts. Like, that. So let's go into Simeo. Like, in fact, no, let's not go into Simeo, but let's mention nah, that. Nah. They did the let's same thing. Let's not leave out Leon, bro. bro. Oh, let's, no, no. As Leon, much as we're bashing the team, team. City, good team. Let's, let's give Leon some credit because um, Dembele come on two goals like listen, poacher. They, that's, they, and a that's lot of people need. were speaking on his, on his name. Listen, and, 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 and the thing that, is, that is he's, the he's theme. linked with a Premier League move. And know, boy, but, him and Awa, I feel like they've added big money. Like yeah, performances like that is kind of... I said before the game, I tweeted out, yo, I want to see Awa. I want to see that performance where you kind of put yourself... Announces the, himself. That's what we saw, yeah. literally. So but credit to them, man. With, with them, with Leipzig, which is another tie, and I'll say slightly with Atalanta as well, even though they didn't go through, we mentioned all of the big teams that are rubbish. Atalanta, in terms of their performance, Leon, and... Um, who's the other team I'm forgetting now? Um, yeah, well, like, those two. Anyway. Yeah, like, they showed team performances. You don't have to have superstars. But... We yeah. have a coach that understands football, can coach and put down some basic principles, and we can get results. Like yeah. Nangusman, what, what did he do? Like he coached the hell of that team. You've got mm. <laughs> got Paulson up top. You've got some other ballers that people would not pick up. You think about it. if you look yeah. at those these squads we're talking about, top teams won't look at players and these teams and be like, you know what, I'm going to mm. buy him. Flipping, look at the Atal- Atalanta game. If not for individual quality of Mbappe coming on, bro, they could have snuck it. Like you've got Darun who's at Middlesbrough. You got like some yeah. goalkeeper that was at Liverpool, never played like. But again, coaches yeah. are coaching your big teams now. You look at them now, just they look brass. They look brass. Listen, this is this is, this is exactly no. This is exactly what I'm saying, fam. The the big teams are not what they were, and people are still. I can't believe people are still arguing it. And do you want to further prove the point? Is now. now a big slap in all of their faces is because now the, the Champions League is being represented by the Farmers Leagues, apparently. Mm-hmm. So all these top teams that everybody's been saying, oh, no, they're not good. They've had great seasons. They're not. Juventus, not good. I've said it. Atletico, not good. Liverpool got bounced by Atletico. City now bounced out. They're finishing like 30 points off the title or whatever. Man United average. Chelsea, awful. Arsenal, awful. Liverpool like, out of this listen, time. we can go on and on and on. Yeah. I'm just saying. Listen, I'm just saying. These teams, yeah, are not as good as as not as good as they once were. No, I hear and it's just I hear at the, for me a lot. 
teams are overrated and, and, and no. it's just being exposed. I'm happy in the Champions League is being exposed. People are going to try and use the excuse, yeah, of, um, no, it's just the lesser teams are getting better. No, nah, it's, it's not, mate. I'm sorry. You, if you watch football, you can see it's not, man. What On that note, that? that's a perfect segue to discuss um, um, Guardiola's former team because the same way he got bounced, they got bounced. <laughs> and we've we've <laughs> mentioned for the longest time that Barcelona are jeopardizing Messi and all of this stuff, and we've spoken about the stuff behind, but now we must address what's on the pitch because what mm. happened yesterday or whatever day it was, because when they're watching this, was an utter the worst hell ever, disgrace. bro. It's 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 a, it's that a disgrace. Game, that it's game disgrace. was the official death of Tika Taka. I'm telling you now. Tiki Saka doesn't even exist anymore, though. That's been it, a long time. It, it's, it's been dead. It's been dead, mm-hmm. yeah. But it, that game for me showed the difference in the gulf in class between Bayern and Barcelona, clearly. Like, if I anybody think... thought Barcelona stood a chance before that game, I mean, you look at the quality of Bayern. Like, when Alaba conceded the goal, did you see? And he laughed. Man just, and he laughed. Man just, man just I mean, I said, I said, he's worth it. back in it. I think you look at the goal for Did you man see Thiago again? 96% what's, what's understood Con- doesn't need to be. And man, I'm hearing names like KDB. Brother, listen, listen. What's Conductor understood? of the orchestra, that guy, literally. He was pulling what, every wait, string. What goal was it? Bro. What goal was it where he did the no look pass, then Goretzka did the dink, oh, and then it was finished? Bro. Like, are you seeing patterns listen, of play? You see, you see, with this whole with Barcelona, look, the thing about Barcelona, this has been years in the making. And mm-hmm. Barcelona, what one thing that's happening a lot is that. Because transfer fees are so high in football at the moment, right? It's so hard for teams to rebuild. So what teams are trying to start doing now are just sign a mega superstar and think mm-hmm. that will cover the gaps. Yeah. Barcelona have needed a rebuild for quite a while. But then what do they think to do? Do you know what? No, okay. I'm not even going to say Dembele because he was young. So maybe they thought that could be part of their rebuild, whatever. Mm-hmm. But Coutinho, we're going to buy Coutinho because he's a superstar oh, okay, we're still shit. No, we're going to buy Griezmann. Or I don't know what order it is. And then in and amongst that, in and amongst these superstars that we sign, we're going we're gonna to put in Vidal, who's old as hell. We're going to still be forcing Rakitic. Busquets is on his last leg. We're not going to look at our defence. We're going to keep PK. We're going to keep PK. Like, you have to... The golf now in football is either buy superstars and then patch it with rubbish. And this is the same thing that Juventus are going through as well. And listen... Messi yesterday was not good, right? But there's only so much you can do riding off the off the goat or whatever. If Messi yeah. wasn't as good as he is, Barcelona would have been finished a long time ago, bro. We would have we would have been talking about this last season, the season before, as True. if we haven't had enough warning sign. Juventus three nil, Liverpool Roma three nil, Liverpool four nil. Now eight two. Listen, the Barcelona hierarchy, yeah, they have done They're so criminals. bad. They remind, so remind me of the they remind me of the government of Nigeria. Nigeria. That's bro. <laughs> I swear to you, but, it's the same but now, thing. Big man thing. I think that's that's where the the source of all these issues for Barcelona are for me. The board. I think. But where, it's and all it's of not these just clubs, even, bro. But you say you say it's just about even like the recruiting of the players, but recruiting of the managers as well. Yeah, I think yeah. like Setien, Tata Martino, like Valverde, all these guys who they've just tried to kind of like either oh let's just either appease to Messi or do you know what we're gonna get someone who plays exactly to our philosophy and DNA. Mm, nah, yeah. bro. You can't just keep trying to replicate what you've done historically. Like, you've got to evolve and move forward as a club. And I understand, like, sometimes you want to appease Messi, but, yo, they now have to look forward to looking at the bigger picture and not just trying to get, like, Bielsa in or something like that and just Mm. think, you know what, that's going to be the solution. Nah, bro, Barcelona, for me, they don't need, like, a... And they do need a massive reset, I'm not going to lie, but someone like Dembele, I was discussing with someone earlier, I think he needs to lead that new, fresh charge going forward. Guys mm. like Coutinho now, I think he might have even Keep given him. himself a second opportunity with that. <laughs> nah, I, I'll Go be to... honest. I'll be honest. He, he is putting himself in a situation. Where... About, yeah, he, no, them... he gets the pick where he goes now. He gets the pick where he goes now. I think Barca, if they say, try and convince him, listen, we need you to stay and we're going to keep you a key part, I think he's just... just no, that's the thing. He gets to pick where he goes now. He, like, his performance was... But under- where you're saying, like, yeah. Pique, yeah, but I mean, Alaba, he This brother Alaba. came on at 4-2. We're going on like he dropped a masterclass. No, no, no but no, in, no, no, in no, no. general, but you- in general, he, like, because a lot of people... <laughs> he is quality, though. Like, I'm not going to... Yeah, a lot of people slept. A lot of people, like, I wouldn't take him in the Premier League and whatnot. I, what I, he, I couldn't believe it. What, what he has done is essentially said, you know what? I am the most expensive player on this team. And I've shown you that, listen, like at the end of the day, 
you're in a situation now, like use me or I have suitors. But what, what you're touching on, Fuad, I think the other delicate point of it as well is, again, coaching, the importance of coaching is so important. And it's not just about how you improve players and whatnot. It's how you mm-hmm. use your personnel. And I tweeted about it and the people said so all the types of rubbish. But again, I don't understand how in 2020 against Bayern Munich, you play a 4-4-2 diamond and you have those four players in the diamond <laughs> against Bayern Munich. I, I oh, don't, when I I don't see understand Vidal how you in do the that. 10. Yeah. I was dying. A man, a man was making third man runs on the wing. He was just doing everything. Bro, there was I one love time when the ball went Vidal. out, yeah, and he was just like, yeah. <laughs> "Did you see? Did you see when they scored the goal and he's and he's crying over the fucking advertising board?" I said, "Yo, this man cannot be serious." But I'm a big Arturo Vidal fan, but I've never in my career seen him play as a ten. But, and to bro, think this, all of a sudden now he's coaching. gonna play behind Messi and Suarez coaching. and. Bro. It just, I don't it's know, coaching. maybe it was, and, maybe it was like a counter-attacking thing kind of stopped Thiago on the other end, but nah, I don't know. That, the coaching and basic principles, again, like we always talk about like succession of players or how you do things or how you motivate and everything. People will say Busquets is finished now because he has got the pace and whatnot. You bought Frankie De Jong for how much? He was always being prided on. He's like, you know what? He can do this. He can do that. So why didn't you kind of put him in a position where it's kind of like, you know what? Busquets can't do what he did anymore. Let's nah, start getting it, you that's in what, That's the question like I was going to say. Is Busquets actually finished? Like, yeah, Busquets I know, finished. I know, I know in those, in, things about in, that no, Barca, in those, but... No, no, no. In those sort of games... You think of the defence behind him is shocking. No, Busquets yeah. is... There's, Fred, there's on, Fred. nothing to play with you, but In those... In those sort of games... Like PK, Alba, I hear them, man, but... No, 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 no. In those sort of games, yeah, playing Busquets now, he's going to get smoked. He's going to get smoked out of there. They're just going to dash smoke grenades. Like, like they're going to treat him like it's cod. Like, they're going to smoke... Nah, like, did you see Cam's tweet about it? I said, <laughs> yo, Busquets, thank you for all the YouTube diagram videos. I said, yo, give some respect to this man, bro. Hey, listen, listen. He reinvented that defensive midfield, bro. He told no. man, yo, you don't even have to tackle, you know? No, listen. on a level, on a level. The thing is, yeah, when you're playing with Thiago... Let's like, pay some Thiago, homage to him then, fam. Goretzka, who else was in there? Like, and these men were just doing... Even if you got the ball, just... No, there's no, after no, the game. The way it, it is, fun. the thing is, yeah. Them, man. I I said um earlier in the week, well, not earlier in the week. I said yesterday. I was like, Messi, it's the end of the era, isn't it? Like at the end of the day, 2020 yeah. has been killing everything, yeah. And but, it's it's now it's, it's it's killed it's killed the the Messi Ronaldo dual era. Like yeah. it's over. And people, when I said it, people are like, how can you say that they're, how can you say that they're not finished? They're, 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 like, you've got to watch it. People are telling me, they were saying to me that Messi's still showing the same pace than he was back then. No, He's not. Listen. Messi's slowing down. Like, at the end of the day, right, I'm not one of them people that take away penalties from anyone or anything like that. But Ronaldo scored 20, 17 penalties this season. I mean, people call Harry Kane a pen merchant and yeah. Rashford. 17 take away those which I don't like to do Ronaldo scores 16 goals like like come on Messi even his even the way Messi has been playing as well it's not as influential as he usually is and people are going to say yeah but he's got a stat record do you know the level of Messi and Ronaldo what they were 60 yeah. goals Ronaldo. 50 goals <laughs> it's not the same anymore man and, and the thing the is this I saw a tweet I saw a tweet and, the, and someone said these men have been going since 2005 um, and they said like what um they said something like death row or something was still there. I said it random, like, like these men have had a good run, like it's calm. But end day, on your point, I think the, the thing that highlights it for me is that buying game just shows me as a person watching football, but at the top level, these teams, etc., are not scared of the, the Messi effect or the Ronaldo effect in one. That tells you everything you need to know. Even in the Juventus game, when they got bopped up, it was like, okay, you got Ronaldo, cool, but we know what we need to do. We're not scared that he's going to score a hat trick anymore. Can't run from time, man. Yeah, you, yeah. You, he's not, we're not scared that Messi's going to score like four goals anymore. Like we know that he can pop up, and he's the footballer he is. But we're not scared of that magic anymore. And when people don't fear you anymore, yeah. they can bring the game to you. Like for me, but, Matt, uh, I hear what both of you are saying. Actually, like you're both saying from a performance aspect, they've kind of dipped over the few years, and that's natural. Like father time, you can't run from that. But the other yeah. aspect as well is the fact that the teams they're in. I think Juve are going to kind of need a lot to kind of get back to contending for the Champions League, to be honest, and Barcelona even more. So for me, Ronaldo at 35, Messi at 33. How much time do these men have to allow these teams to kind of rebuild they again? Don't. To kind of I mean, they take don't. them back to that level? Because they we've don't. already said like their performances have, and numbers have kind of dipped a little, but it's like now the supporting cast is not even there to kind of back them up. Exactly. When they were putting up these it. numbers, they had a supporting cast that was out this world. 
Star mm. studded Madrid team, star studded Barca team, and it's, it's like not the same anymore, man. It's not the listen, same anymore, listen. and that's and what I think people be, are struggling to understand, bro. We gotta be, we gotta be honest as well. I don't care. I don't. People are afraid to speak on stuff. Like I don't care if Messi's the goat or whatever. Yeah, all these knockouts that Barcelona have had, Messi hasn't scored in the last. Was it since twenty six? The away games, the away games, in the away games, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, even, even forget even a yeah he ain't scored an away game. There's a stat I had. Twenty sixteen since twenty sixteen yeah. he hasn't scored an away yeah, game in the Champions League knockout stage. The, where is this stat? Uh, and then Ronaldo it, yeah. I think has like Ronaldo seven has like twelve or something. Or so twelve, it's yeah. That, it's not even about the away games. These games are all final games, like final knockout round games. Yeah. Messi hasn't scored in any of them. Didn't score against Juventus. Didn't score against Roma. Didn't score against Liverpool. Didn't score against um, Bayern Munich. So we can yeah. talk about the goat, the goat, the goat. But listen, if it was Cristiano Ronaldo, it would be very highlighted. The people in the neck, people yeah, love to speak the about it. Messi has not shown up in these final crunch time games for Barcelona for quite a while now. And people don't may want to speak about it, but it's it's pure Bro, facts. It's, it's, it's people are, people are always scared to kind of... People, are, I've always said, people always got kind of scared to question greatness. Like Same thing with Guardiola. Tired and yeah, a bro, literally. I remember initially Same when I Guardiola. always used to question Guardiola, people would be like, "How dare you have?" And I'm like, "Bro, you can question anybody." And especially mm-hmm. when things start deteriorating and you start to visually see the difference, bro, mm. there's no harm in questioning it or having a discussion about it. Man, and think just because you said someone's time is up, it means yo, you 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 think they're shit now? Nah, bro. Messi and Ronaldo are still quality. But it, the facts but are the facts, bro. This Listen, is a, a new, it's a, it's a, it's a new it's era. It's a new era. The Mbappe, Mbappe era. era. Oh, no. <laughs> announce it. Announce this, it. This, this it's the Mbappe era. <laughs> I've been saying the, the Mbappe era is due for a long time, though. It's on the new the era point. On that point. We are officially there. When you look at... First, I hope. I was gonna say, when you look yeah. at Bayern Munich's team and how they we always praise them for the way they've re- rebuilt and what, do they have the makings of being one of these dominant sides that we've previously seen? There's no such thing as dominant sides, man. There's no you such can, thing as dominant sides. You, you can beat there's always a so time. quick. No, of there's course, of course. But if you, but looking at their side. squad, like if you were to look at squads in world football or just like teams in world football, like they would be one of the teams you look at, kind of. Yeah, right now, right now you look at it and think that they're most primed to do it. But one thing that I've learned is, listen, there's anything can happen. Dominant, dominance. It doesn't happen. We yeah. had, a, we had, a, we had an era of dominance of Messi with Barcelona mm-hmm. and Ronaldo with Real Madrid, they're the only times you've seen dominance. Obviously, you can go back to Liverpool of the 70s, and I'm not trying to go that yeah. far, you know what I'm trying to say, but in this modern yeah. era, you don't get teams that dominate like that. You know what I mean? Team, a team hasn't even done back-to-back in the Champions League other than Real Madrid. So yeah. I'd rather wait and see all of that type of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We've got about, we got about well, 10 They haven't even won the Champions cool. League yet. They, yeah. haven't won True. It. they haven't won it since Henkes. And, and one yeah. thing I actually want to touch on is the manager of this. I actually yeah. want to give you credit, bro. My, my man came in, what, as a caretaker in November. Came in a caretaker. They lost 4-5-0 the game before. Um, oh, they, they he they took over Niko Kovac. They, they were fourth. They were yeah. fourth in the league. And, like, yeah. they were looking very, very shaky. And he's yeah. come in. He showed he's, it up. Brother, he's brought out Alfonso playing Davis. Football. He's moved yeah. Alaba into centre-back. He's got like, Goretzka he's got playing good again. Like Mad. Goretzka's arms, you seen them, bruv? Nigga looks yeah, he like went a gym. unit, bruv. Yeah, he went gym and got bowler, <laughs> Like, bruv. he's got Muller becoming Man, a that main now came all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. Muller, you've seen the way he's evolved. What? <laughs> gym. What about Muller? Gym. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> we said <laughs> steroid again, yeah? <laughs> and I'm saying nothing, fam. Hey, I'm gym. sick of this guy. Hey, he said but, gym, you know. But you look at Lewandowski's numbers he's putting up, so at some yeah. point you've got to give credit to the manager as well because he's been a big part of these Champions League performances as of well. Of course, but just the way that all the players talk and everything, like that camp, that whole camp, it just seems like they, they're on top of the world. They just know Brother, that they can do anything. Have you seen yeah. the players they've got up and coming under 25 as well? It's crazy, man. They've got they're, your they're, and, I, I, that's, and, that's, and that's where I kind of hear from where you're saying... That, could that's what I'm saying. Are they primed? Are they pr- I don't they're think, I don't think they're dominant. When I say, when I say dominant... Competing, they will always yeah, be in the same as in like, the next four yeah, years, I would Because say. one of the things that we've always said about Bayern Munich in the past is that, yeah, the German league, they're going to do well. But there's been times where in the Champions League, it's like, oh, wow, they're not competing because they've they've won the league or something but you look at their team now you look at the talent that's coming through yeah. and you just look at how they are now I think that they can they can maintain this momentum of course like I, I reckon that they could maintain this like what, how Lewandowski's still got a few years and then Muller's going to do a few years the wingers are young I mean apart, New Year's going to be um, decommissioned soon and the other keeper they've got is, is good Newble. so 
Yeah, he's a good goalkeeper. He should be yeah, playing. Yeah. He's supposed to be playing this season, but obviously we Let's know. Let's touch on the Neymar Mbappe heroics, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we ain't got too much time. Right, listen, quality, same, quality is quality. Time. The same thing that I said before. Neymar is levels, fam. I'm going to say it again. Neymar is the best player in the world, if apart from Lionel Messi. In 2020, I'm taking Neymar ahead of anyone else. In 2020, I'm taking Neymar ahead of Ronaldo. I, I don't care what nobody says to me. Like, let's, if we, if we, I'm taking Neymar over Mbappe. Neymar is the big dog of that team. When people try and put Mbappe as the big dog, I don't think you're watching the game. Neymar is... is First third, second third, and final third. Mbappe is the final third type of player. Neymar is, dominates the game in midfield. He dominates the game up top. He, he picks up I the ball from the defense and midfielders. He is the most important you see member the difference, of that mate. team. Listen, Mbappe, as we I'm going to acknowledge say again, that though. I'm going to say again, Mbappe was on his own the last two seasons. Where was, what did he do without <laughs> Neymar? What happened? Rashford sent him home. <laughs> Yeah, the way I knew this was coming, yeah. You're so home. fucking shameless. So that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> that was so good. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. Well. So, hey, no, nah, bro. Him home. So, and this is the first time. This is the first time they've had Neymar, right? And they're in the Champions League semi final for the first time. Don't it's forget, he scored home and away. He scored home and away against PS, um, against Dortmund. You know what? He is the we big can, dog of that team. And people the first start time. giving him his respect. This is the first time I think PSG have to thank COVID because otherwise he would have obviously been away with his sister's birthday mm. or some Rio Yeah, but that was the Dortmund so, game, mate. You know next, what I mean? <laughs> next, next, next. But nah, credit to Neymar, honestly. Like, he, he, he we just have to acknowledge like quality. We just have to... Like, in football, there is. I'm, I'm personally sick and tired of when people just don't want to acknowledge quality or acknowledge footballers. I don't care whatever level it is. You can tell a footballer when you see one, right? It's plain to see. You were watching that game and you're looking at things and you're like, wait, hold on. This and people say it's just the level. flicks and tricks, but it's, it's not. not. It's just the, the, uh, the, the weight of pass, the application. That is nice, just the, of course, it makes it look... It, that's, it's the little seasoning on top, but yeah, the yeah, basics yeah. of what he does, game. people <laughs> can't do. People <laughs> can't do like this. And that's, that's the reality of it. Like, you look at him and you go like, wow. He's on them players you watch. It's like Thiago, you watch, you go, you know what? That guy can really play football. Like Listen, everyone else think, around him is a professional yeah, footballer, yeah. but you I look think, at them I and think say, though, play football. Yeah, I think PSG, though, if they're going to stand a serious chance, they need both of them fully fit. And yeah, I'll yeah. be real with you, Verratti and Di Maria, they need them back as well. We because them, that man. midfield, was Lord bleeding. have mercy. When I saw bleeding. that, and then you tweeted the names and I said, yeah, this, this can't be right, surely, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was... oh, I'm going to read something out. Needed. I'm going to read Go something on. out because just to highlight that how Neymar's the most disrespectful And that wet Don as well, Ilicic. Oh yeah, let's not speak about him. But I'm going to read out. That's another criminal still. Neymar is the most disrespected footballer in the world. Let me tell you. Uh, For Brazil, 101 matches, 61 goals, 41 assists. You can do the maths. 134 games for Santos, 70 goals, 35 assists. Barcelona, 186 games, 105 goals, 77 assists. And PSG, 81 games, 70 goals, 39 assists. Highest scoring Brazilian in Champions League history. A Champions you know, League winner. Please put respect on Neymar, fam. He is a you know, different level. He's generational. Yeah. Take it in. People don't. Take people you know thing, people you know do it because it's I like cool. as well. Is the fact that people always used to kind of say, "Oh, it's because he's at Barcelona, Barcelona. surrounded by Messi." Oh. This is now for me the time where I'm I'm in liking that he's stepping out and saying, "You know what." I'm the man for the moment and I'm the star of the team. So, but, bro, pause there, pause there. At, Bas- at Barcelona, at Barcelona. Let's give him back his no, flowers but, as well. Thank you, yeah. Mace, you're about to but touch At, at Barcelona, say. what happened in the big game? Like, hey, who, the, who, who the, the, the PSG. Who rose it? Like, Don't for, never forget. And it wasn't never just that forget. one as well. There's more games as well. And that's why... Listen, when, PSG, the, when Barcelona won the Champions League, Neymar t- was the joint top scorer in the Champions yeah. League. So, well, and I'm just going to ask you a question. Go on. What have Barcelona done in the Champions League without Neymar? Thank you very much. So as much as people want to talk about Neymar needs them, they need him. Messi no, but that's, what, him that's why they tried to get him back. to sign him last summer. This goes, because we ain't got much time. Him. This is, this <laughs> is the point. Like half the club, bro. <laughs> bro they offered them like three players. Everything. I think <laughs> but this is the point I wanted to touch on. Like with the Neymar thing, when he moved and everything, everyone understood where he went and did because sometimes a man has to go and do his own thing. But even if you listen to what Messi said, or if you listen to what was going on at the club, they were essentially preparing him to take over that role. So if they managed to keep him, they wouldn't be in this mess now. 
what what Ronaldinho did for Messi was essentially what Messi was trying to do back then. Is kind of you know you can even have the pens, bro. Listen, just be happy. Well, obviously mm. he had to do what he had to do, but listen, that's part of the reason why they're in the mess they're in now because they didn't keep their best talent because the management on the top was brass because they were doing mm. money laundering deals and signing thirty year olds and letting Paulinho in their mess. Arto, 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 the dumb, Arto, the dumb. I forgot Paulinho bro. played for them. Bro, bro, like, he didn't ball out for a couple games, you know. Brave one, man. Come on, he played better for Barca than he did had, Bro, they had both. They bought both ten at one point. Remember that? Remember they yeah. had both. Hey. Like it's, it's, it's one thing. They're patching up. Them. Criminals. Like, hey, there's too many criminals. It's too way bad. too many. But listen, we've got less than a minute left. Um, semi-finals are going to be spicy. Fuad, only your pick for the winner is still in it. So, boy, congratulations to, to you. Bye. But, I mean, yeah, listen, we'd even, get to, touch and, we'd even, we'd even get to touch yeah. Simeone, you know. We might have to touch that another time. Aye, but aye, what aye, he did leave was Leave my brother. No, I no. Leave Simeone, my brother alone. No. I end the show. No. It's, no. <laughs> yeah, but Simeone, he's great, yeah, but it's getting to a point now where it's like, he probably, I mean, is the Atletico cycle over? Maybe, maybe. I mean, how far can you can't really take them man. anywhere. You're not winning the league. You're not really doing nothing in Champions League. You're not even winning the cups. It's just kind of like... Awesome. I all I can say is, all I can say is, play the footballers. In football, you play your best footballers. That's all I say. And on that so bombshell, free Lamar and Felix. No, nah, <laughs> not for, for, forget love. <laughs> free Felix. But, and on that bombshell, that's another episode. Man, them take it easy. Uh, socials, you know what to do. Last thing, KDB had fifty nine percent pass accuracy. Yeah, gonna say, Sterling. Yeah. KDB had fifty nine percent pass accuracy. We have seen the evidence. Fifty nine percent. So ne- nearly every pass uh, he made, what, every two passes he made, nearly one was going elsewhere. Yeah. Right, and Pep and Sterling are still Say criminal. nothing! Hey, say safe. nothing! Say nothing! Hey, in a bit. In a bit, in a bit.